drummers tend to be a little humbler and less territorial than other musicians, and we're always happy to give it up for our big heroes. This is the top brass. Well, it's not in any order, and I wouldn't You have it. John Bonham at the bottom, and I, I think I understand why. <laughs> no, there's no. I understand why, okay. because he's the foundation, he's the building block. He's the around, age. yeah, I mean, he's the one that, if everyone says it was their favorite rock drummer of all time. For me, no one will ever touch him. Yeah. He's one of those guys that everyone wants to sound like, and no one really can. Drums never sounded heavier than under the hands of John Bonham. And that feeling of giant forces at work has been a sacred quest for us drummers. He wasn't fast, but he was huge. We all want to know how he did that. Do yeah. you think it was the sticks? Do you think it was the drums? Do you think it was... I think it was the... his tuning. I think it was his sense of groove. And, you know, to be able to lay back as far as you can, but still be moving forward. But still not be dragging. Not be dragging, still move forward. And that's yeah. the hard, I think that's one of the hardest tricks of rock drumming or whatever you want to call it. Bonzo was the master of that, which every drummer from Roger Taylor to Alex Van Halen, maybe Stuart Copeland, I don't know, to what Taylor the, Hawkins to Dave Grohl is, uh, is that is the holy grail of, of rock. Of heavy drums. 